Hi, I'm Pamela B and welcome to the Jump Off TV News. Now we're going to start off with some news from the US. Sorry, the UK. The British Mobos was broadcasted live on Thursday the 20th of September for the first time ever. And of course, as always, the Americans took the limelight. The sexy Beyonce was nominated for four awards. She won three Best Song, Best Video and Best International Female. And now her hubby, Jay-Z, added some more bling to their mantelpiece by winning Best International Male. Now, what was really disappointing was the fact that both of them did not turn up. They didn't even do a pre-thank you speech for the fans which resulted in a lot of boos from the crowd. Um, now, the reason why I think Beyonce didn't turn up, that there were two reasons, okay? Firstly, Latoya, a former band member of Destiny's Child, um, was performing on the night. And um, since the split in 1998, Beyonce and Latoya have barely spoken to each other. So that would have resulted in a little bit of a mess. Now, the second reason, Barbadian-born Rihanna um, was opening the evening. And of course, she's linked with Jay-Z, signed to his label, and there were rumors that they were getting a little bit too close for Beyonce's liking. Ouch. Now, those two are valid reasons, but I don't think that is the real reason why Beyonce didn't turn up at the Mobos. It's got more to do with the fact that they were serving finger-licking, mm, good peri-peri chicken from Nando's. You know, it's not a good look, getting grease all over your lips going up for an award. Hmm. Jay, do you think they're going to give me another award? Of course. Mm, this chicken is good. Yeah. Now, staying with the music of big organizations, but focusing on best hip hop, the nominations were Kanye West, Busta Rhymes, Sway, Kano, and Akala. And of course, Akala won. Are you confused? So are we. Now, I'm not taking away anything from Akala. He's a fantastic artist musically, right? But. He hasn't really done anything credible this year. Last year, Sway didn't do too much, was nominated and won Best Hip Hop. This year, Sway has sold over 50,000 records, apparently, and yet he didn't win anything. September the 13th, 2006, was the 10th anniversary of the legendary Tupac's untimely death. Madame Tussauds have launched a waxwork model that has been flown in all the way from Las Vegas to London. Afeni Shakur, Tupac's mother, was heavily involved in the production of the wax model. The sculpture will be flown all over the world to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Tupac's death. For more information, check out Madame Tussauds' website. In the proof murder trial, Mario Etheridge, the man who shot the D12 rapper in a Detroit nightclub on April the 11th, 2006, was found guilty of weapon charges related to the incident and could face a five-year prison sentence. Mario Etheridge was a bouncer at the nightclub. He shot Deshaun Proof Holton after the rapper shot and murdered his cousin, Keith Bender Jr. at the CCC Club on the Eight Mile. The three-day trial came to the conclusion that Mario Etheridge was involved in two shooting incidences that night. The first, he apparently fired two gunshots into the ceiling to stop a fight between Pruth and Bender. He was convicted. In the second, he fatally shot Pruth, but it was deemed self-defense by the prosecutors and Etheridge was never convicted for the murder. Eminem, Pruth's long trusted friend and band member, has turned a mixtape venture into an album. Shady will be showcasing brand new music on the entitled album, Eminem Presents The Re-Up. Now, rumors have been circulating that the album will be a tribute to the late Pruth, but Eminem has stated, the D12 album and those release songs with Pruth are coming, but the re-up album is about new artists and new songs, and it isn't fair to them or the memory of Pruth to mix them up. I'm going to end on a rather orgasmic high. Research has shown, and this is so true, that hip-hop fans are more than likely to have more than one sexual partner in the past five years than any other music culture. Now, psychologist Adrian North from the University of Leicester has surveyed 2,500 Britons and compared their musical tastes with their lifestyle and interests. And they've come up with a 38% figure 
of hip hop heads who have sex with more than one partner or who have had sex with more than one partner in the last five years. Now you know who you are. To top it all up, 50% of hip hop lovers admitted to committing a criminal act. Now listen, right? I don't know what this Adrian North dude is trying to say, but basically, all hip hop heads are sex hooligans who get banged up on a regular. <sighs> Whew. I'm definitely ready for my peri peri chicken now, guys. Peri peri chicken? Okay, that's it, it's over. Was <coughs> I'm not trying to be anal. <coughs> you know when you're on a roll and it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Daddy. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Come on, guys! You take me off! <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Jump off TV news with your chick, Pamela B. <laughs>